Welcome to this video I don't hope you'll watch. Um, the reason why this is that this video is really there if you got stuck with the exercise. So in this video I will run through how I have done the um, nice place exercise. So I'll run through my PowerPoint and at the same time show how I do it in QGIS. So it's um of course you can after you have done it yourself. You can see if you do it the same way as I do, that'd be fine. But you know, this is just there in case you get stuck really. So if we look at our PowerPoint, um and um we um remember that our thing was that we had this nice place. So our first step was to um formalize this a bit. So we could rephrase it as an existing address within the municipalities of Copenhagen and Frederiksberg that beat our criteria for niceness. And the big thing is, of course, the niceness, so we'll postpone that um, for the next slide. The thing about an existing address within the municipalities of Copenhagen and Frederiksberg, well, if we, you know, you could, we know that there's an address data set, and if we clip this by the area covered, by the municipalities of Copenhagen and Frederiksberg. We can do this in QGIS by taking our municipality layer and setting a filter on it. So if you just go in and filter this layer and say, bring this dialog box over here, and say that the commune now is going to be in brackets. Let's have all of them. Go hang, comma. Like spell. And then bracket end. And OK. And that will then resort in this area. And um, I must admit, you don't really have to do this because I had already in my address day, in the address for this exercise, I have already clipped them, so I have already done the clipping. But otherwise, you would have had to go and say that you wanted to use the clip tool down under the overlay. So we have our overlay. Was not wrong. The OLA, and we did a clip, and we have addresses input and then municipalities, and we can then run this tool, and it does result in exactly the same as before. So not really necessary. Um, addresses and clip are the same um, two files. So I just uh stick with addresses because that has the, the nicest name. So I'll just give that a clip. Yeah. Um, leave them for later. I won't need, be needing municipalities any longer. And this is really one of those important things to uh, to try and keep things simple when you work. So if you don't need it, remove it. So we will be needing addresses later. The next step. So now we've covered this where we have extracted municipalities and we have clipped those two. If we look at that concept of niceness, I set up these three criteria that we should be able to walk to the main station in Copenhagen. So have you know, not more than 1500 meters or you should be able to walk to a bus station not more than 200 meters walk and then ride the bus for not more than three kilometers to get to the main station or you can walk up to 500 meters to some station and then take the s train or metro to Nørreport for not further than five kilometers and finally we said that we do not want to live along a wide road so a road that is more than um six meters wide. 
So those are the that, that is what we want to to solve. Um, so basically, we can say we need to do a difference of the good places and the bad places, and we can relatively easily identify the bad places because we know that this this y meter, and we could filter it on um, the vibrator and set these um, up, and then do a buff on that. So if we um, do that, we will uh, need our five meter data set. We will need to go in and filter it. So on vibrator, uh, that is in, and we can't use it larger than or less than because um, these are text categories. So I'll just have to say this one, or this one, or this one. So they're all the roads that are wider than six meters. And then I will take my buffer tool. My buffer tool. And I'll take my Y meter that has now been filtered. And I'll make a 50 meters buffer and I'll probably make it um, a bit more ice round. And I would say that I want to have a dissolve on it so I don't have those extra overlaps and run this. So get something like this, that looks fine. Go to my layers and remember, rename things as soon as you've done it. Because all of these t these tools, next time you want a buffer, you also call it buffer. So um, I call it noise. So I don't need my Y meter anymore. So I'll just remove them. Good. So I have now done this part of it. Um, I so I'm ready to do a difference as soon as I found out um, which areas uh, have a uh, easy access to the rook train. And um, in order to do them, I what I want to do is I want to take all of the addresses and I want to clip them with my union of my criteria one, my criteria two, and my criteria three, which was those that are up here. So I'll be doing some unions at the end of um, of this. So let's see what those different criteria can be implemented as. So we want to be able to walk or cycle to the main station. So that's not more than 1500 meters. So that's our criteria one. So we could deconstruct that to locate the main station and buffer 1500 meters around that. And this locate the main station, we could do that from this stopper which is from the Danish travel planner Reiseplanen, and it, by extracting on its name. So um, if we do that, we can uh, pull in all these stopper which, by the way, is a national data set. So we have all of them in all of them. Up. Um, so here we and um, so don't start buffering them and things like that before you have um, have um, filtered them down to something useful. So one of these is called Copenhagen Hope. So I guess we uh, we can just go in and add a filter on it again, and say that the name is going to be equal to and all and. Hang. Okay, so that gives us one step. I mean, you just quickly rename it to Copenhagen Main Station Copio. So we got that one. Then we wanted to 
create a buffer around it. We've done this part. So we'll say a buffer. So we'll go and we have buffer from earlier and we'll do it 1500 meters. There's no reason to do the solve because that is only one. We'll set this uh, just to make them look nicer. We'll set this up to 20 and we'll run it. So now we have um, this layer. Again, quickly, the first thing we had done when we finished, rename it to, oh, not cancel, rename it to, um, this is really criteria one. Criteria one. Um, so that's one of our criteria. What do we want to, to do more? So that was criteria one solved. Um, but tier two, well, basically that was the that we live somewhere. We walk two hundred meters the max to the bus stop, and then that bus stop must not be further away than three kilometers from the main station. So let's call the bus stops that are within that three kilometers radius of the main station for OK bus stops, and then we can do a buffer around those. But before we do that, we need to, of course have um in order to to find those okay bus stops we need to find all of the bus stops and then clip them over a buffer of three kilometers around the main station which we have already located and we now need to just find bus stops and we can use this starbuster data set again from the travel planner and extract those where the type is called bus so they have an attribute called bus that we can use so going back to our data set dragging in our starvester again this time we then just want to filter the layer down on its uh bus that there's only short bus stops so we'll just uh filter it down on oops not that at type equal all bus so they are now bus stops and i'll just um cut them down to so they that that is all the bus stops at the moment now we need those bus stops so that's all the bus stop now we needed to make a buffer of three kilometers around the main station so do that Buffer, uh, main station, and three kilometers, 3,000 meters, 20 segments. There's only one, so no reason to solve on this tool. And we're only interested in the bus stops within that area. So we can go we now have the bus stop then we can clip it with this at uh, this so uh in our overlay tools we have the clip and we can uh take oh uh, yeah uh and we have only luckily i've only got one buffered so i can take my bus stops you can see here the importance of renaming it because I didn't really rename them before. So I'll just I'll close this one for a moment and go back and say so this one that was called Starbuster, I just rename that so I know that that's the one that is called bus stops. And I will this buffered also rename this one to Copenhagen. 3k so hopefully now it's obvious what i do when i say clip and i'll say i want to clip my bus stops of my copenhagen so there go back to my, uh, my layers that means i don't not i don't need this 
one anymore. If um, if you're you know a bit afraid of deleting things, you can add a group and say um, all it used and then turn it off, and uh, then you can drop them into there. Um, it clears up the map, but it's up to you. Um, I prefer to get rid of them, so I'll get rid of that one. And I'll get rid of all my bus stops. And I'll make sure that my bus stops here are renamed. So they will be bus. Copenhagen 3k and what I need to do I need to make a 200 meter buffer around them so back in our processing ask for the buffer run it around the bus stop that one a 200 meters 20 segments this time, there's many of them, and it will be really impractical if I do not dissolve them. I have lots of small objects, so I'll dissolve all of these. So I have this layer here. And um, basically, this layer is my criteria too. Criteria two. So, uh, and I'm finished with these bus stops. So I can uh, remove that layer. So I now have a criteria one and a criteria two. So that was those. So basically, I now need just to look at criteria three, which is on my next slide. So what does that do? It says, okay, what I want to do is that I want to make, find all the stations that are within three kilometers from the airport, and then I want to make a five hundred meter buffer around those. So find my find train stations and clip them with a Thing where I have located an airport station and a buffer of three or five kilometers. So, just like with Copenhagen main station, I can uh, filter or extract by expression, name the is equal airport, and I can find stations by filtering like I did with bus stops. But this time, filter the stop is there with my station layer versus stations. So Starting from the bottom, I will then take my stops there again, and this time I will um, call it, I, may, I can might as well just rename it first, call it station. Station. And there I will uh, filter it where its name. No, sorry, where it's, I want to define the stations. So where it's type equal all that stations. So that's all the stations. Now I want to find the output. So I'll just drag in stops there again and call it this one for. The output. And on this one, I will make a filter saying that its name is going to be equal to all the output station there. Um, okay. So 
I've got one dot somewhere. I've got a red dot for main station and a dot for now port station. And what did I want to do? So I have located my I found stations and I found now port. And I want to create a buffer of five kilometers around now port and then clip the stations from that. So buffer around now port of five kilometers. There's only one, so no reason to consider uh, any filtering. And what I wanted to do is I just give it a name. Um, now port 5k. So I can go and say I want to do a clip. So in my Victor LA clip, and what I wanted to clip was I wanted to clip the stations. Um, stations, and I wanted to clip them with my now you know, what's 5k and run that. So I've got those. Quickly rename them to um, station airport 5k. And basically, I don't need this one anymore. So I'll just remove this layer. So back to my, so I've now got those and I basically now need to make a 500 meters buffer around them. So buffer of Stations in the airport of 500 meters of uh, 20 segments. Again here, there are many, so I would uh, prefer to have them dissolved. So, basically now I have What is my criteria free? So I'll just rename this layer. So all of this is done. So I basically I can backtrack to my beginning. And what I said was that up here, and I first would, oh, that was a bit too far. Um, so this point it says what I wanted to do is that I wanted to find my not so good airs and I wanted to find my addresses that I will clip and then I will uh, extra do a difference. I'm at, I think I will, in this case, I think I'll do the difference before doing the, the extract clipping on the addresses, but that's up to you. Um, so basically I need to union all my good places, all my criteria. So my criteria are basically what is showing up at the moment minus the roads. So I want to, um, Union them together. So uh, in QGIS, you can only union two at a time. So I'll do a union of uh, by TIA three and two. And then I'll do a union. Uh, so I'll go back to my layer. 
let's say I have a union somewhere. I call that rename it criteria two class three. So if I turn off two and three, I should hopefully have this brown, which is my union of two and three. Now I just wanted to add my criteria one. So I will um, again go to my processing tools, run a union. This time I will union my union of uh, looking for my union. Criteria, criteria, oh yeah, it's criteria one and two. So that was there. And this one is just called criteria one. So. This too, this looks a wee bit um, complicated. So I would um, make it look nicer. Or, um, I will, it's called union, this one here. I just but I want to make a nicer version of union. So I just want to dissolve on this. Because you can see there are many borders because they come from different layers. And it's always best to have a relatively clean um data set to work on. So this one I have now generated is called dissolve. So I can get rid of my union. Don't need that any longer. And I basically don't need any of my criteria, but I just I'm getting to the end now, so maybe I should just leave them. Uh this one dissolve. I'll rename that to um one plus two plus three. And what I need now need is new is I need to uh, clip out those areas that are here. So I don't want my road noisy areas. And so this was this difference tool. So I'll uh, run a difference. A difference on my where my input is my criteria one, two, three. And my OLA, the one that I'm clicking on, is my noise. So, that. So, hopefully, if I turn this off and this off, and my off noise zones, and criteria and criteria. This difference up here is my uh, nice place. So uh, rename this my nice area. And the only thing I want to do now is I want to find how many addresses are there within this uh, this nice area. So I'll have to uh, find my address data set again. All my addresses from there. Yeah? And then I simply can clip it. So I can do a clip again. Of my, where I use my addresses as an area I want to clip in. And I use my nice area as my cookie cutter. And that will then return this. So the final result of all my uh, work are these addresses here. So all of these addresses are my My nice places, and uh, of course I can turn off that one, and I can add a background map 
um, to this so it looks uh, a bit nicer. Um, but basically, what we want to know is how many are there. There's two ways of doing this. One would be to go to the properties of the layer and look under the source. Uh, sorry, up here, information. And you can see there are 30,540. I could also get the same information if I had opened the attribute table. And here it says that there are 30,540 addresses. So that's how many nice addresses there are in Copenhagen. So as, as I said to start with this video, I don't hope you watch it. It's there if um, you got stuck in the exercise or you just want to check what I did. Um, so hopefully um, you got something that more or less the same. The exact number really depends very much on those segments. Um, if you run with segments of 10 instead of 20, you will get uh, 30,480 something addresses. So the number of segments really has an influence on the result, which is a bit you know, one of those things where small choices have artifacts on, um, on your results. So always be aware that any choice that you might seem irrelevant, the number of segments on the buffer tool can have a, if not severe, then at least some influence on your results. So I hope that you didn't watch the video, but if you do it, I hope that um, it was useful.